us a little bit about what where you're from, what you what you do. We'll just just for a minute here before we get started. Sure, I'm a uh, real estate broker and uh, have a, a agency I've been working on <laughs> launching here. I have your um, IDX add-ons, and um, the team's been awesome, by the way, helping me integrate uh, into a high level. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Right now, I just have one person, so I'm okay. I'm looking to add more, but I think I'm I'm ready. I'm done getting ready to get ready. I think. Okay, cool. Well, I you have to be careful because when you say nice things about us like that and we're recording it, I may use it as a, as put it on our video channel or something like that and try to hustle oh. other clients from that. Be happy to happy to refer you guys anytime. Oh, that's kind of you. V, good to see you, brother. <clears throat> you too. Good to see you. James yeah. Carlos. Yeah, we got we got Jeff Auerbach here. We got Noah. We got the whole posse. I think we're ready to dive in. I told you guys. We, last time we talked a little bit um, about um, some things we we're doing with with high level, and we talked about showing the one uh, click websites. That's kind of we're we're basically trying to work on three things this year that we want to get dialed in for high level, and I'll tell you what they are. The first one is we want to make the sign up process really smooth and really easy for agencies to be able to get new clients. And, and we actually met with Saeed, one of the people in our group. Uh, I met with him a couple of days ago and he had a great idea that we're going to uh, be implementing here in the next day or two. And, and we're trying to get with the uh, IDX companies and make the sign up better. So that's one of the things. The other thing is the, uh, the one-click websites and the agency dashboard. So the way that you manage your clients is, is easier to do. So we'll be talking about that, the agency dashboard, uh, next week. But this week, we wanted to do a couple of things. We're going to show you our one-click website. Carlos is going to take a few minutes and show you what we've been working on for iHome Finder. And we also have the same uh, product for, for IDX Broker. And then Mida is going to take a few minutes and show you some of the new uh, features we've been working on. So let's, and then we'll do some Q and A. Carlos, do you want to dive in and show us what you got? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Carlos. Um, I'm the lead developer on IDX Apps, and I, I want to show you how you can have a high-level website integrated with iPhone Finder. So let me show my screen and show you. So we call these uh, websites one-click websites because we want to make them very easy. And here is the process on how you can create your, your own web website or for your clients. So the first thing you need to have is an IDX apps account, and that is easy. If you already have an iHome Finder account, you can have a free IDX apps account. So here is the here is how it looks. You you will have access to all these apps. And the the app that we want to, to use is Lead Connector One Click website. So here it, if you don't have let me let me go back a little bit. I need to fix something here. Just a moment. Website. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, the first time you enter this page, you will see this. You can see a live preview and you can buy the template. Once you once you buy it, it will redirect you to the um to the multi-step form. That it, it will uh, ask some questions to personalize your your website. And that's what we are going to do right now. So let's start. And here we have two designs. To, to choose, I'm going to select this template, click on next. Let's uh, choose a, a, a name. Uh, I'm going to call it Colton Properties. Click on next. Here, you select the apps that you want on your website. Click on next. Here, uh, for the Plunk Home Valuation widget, it requires a phone number. So I'm going to select one and click on next. In this step, we are going to connect high level. You need to click on continue with high level and select the sub account 
where you want the website to be added. We have a sub account name webinar. So next, here we can select a contact form if you have one, but if you don't, click on skip. The next step is to select a hero image. We have a four to choose here, or you can upload your own image. I'm going to select this one, click on next. We have the ability to create market pages and for that you need to select a city. I'm going to select the city and secondary cities. Okay, it will start creating custom values in your high level sub account. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, so once it's finished, you need to, to clone the template on your high level sub account. For that, you need to click on this link with agency admin permission in order to copy the website. At the website, um, I'm going to call it Fulton Properties and I need to select the location that is the webinar sub account. Clone website. Okay, so now I have a website clone with custom values is already there. So when I visit the website, the only thing I need to do is to uh, set up the domain, the same domain that I specify on Icon Finder. I need to use it here. So let me refresh this page. Golden properties, and these are all the pages that we have available. Let me go to settings, select a domain. I have already set up a domain for this, for this website. Click on save. Okay. And now we have a website, a high level website connected with iPhone Finder. And this is very quickly. You can set up a, a website for your client. And in order to make the search work, you, we only need to go here and be sure that the paths are without any numbers. I'm going to update this page. And click on search. And that's it. We have a website integrated with iPhone Finder and, and in in time in record time so this is what we want to we wanted to show you we have also communities page, communities and we have widgets on the home page in the main city that you selected we also have the testimonials with default testimonials that you can edit and we also have um other pages like communities and we also have the property organizer that you can uh, where you can manage your listings if you want uh, if you want to see a demo website i can send you a, a demo website on the chat so you can take a look and see all the features sweet carlos that's awesome let me see if i can do a uh, reaction here let's see if i know how to do this there we go i'm going to put a little applause for you there brother that was awesome so one of our team members uh she's not on the call right now so diana don't tell any anybody this but sonia says why do you call it one click that's not one click i'm like yeah well uh, you know i'm a i'm a dad and a grandpa so we can call it whatever we want it's really like 17 clicks as carlos showed us there but we still we we've, we've branded it as one click and our goal is to make it a one click but um that's that's pretty much it the other thing i wanted to mention that 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 when carlos makes those community pages is, is it loading those images using chat gpt carlos is that or was that where you got those community images or did you have those loaded on the site already for now for now they are the default images but we are working on adding chat gpt okay. we are 
adapted from to create the images. Okay, so it looks like he, Mike wants to see a, a link to the demo in there, if you don't mind sharing one. Does anybody have any questions about the one clicks before we hop over to what Midas doing? I have a quick question on the pricing. So is the, um, do we pay for each client the 200 or, or is it something we would cop? Like what's, what's yeah, that's a, a, that's a good question. Mike, right now, the way we have it set up, it's $199 to set up and then the, you host it on your high level account. So we we're, we're selling it to our clients to replace another product that we had called pure IDX sites. And for that, we're charging 99 bucks a year to host it. We host it on our high level account, but we basically don't give them access to anything except the website. So they can't text, they can't send any emails or any of that. They're not, they don't have high level per se. They just have a hosted website using that, that page builder. Um, but we are charging 199 bucks a site to spin those up. And, and then whatever you, your arrangements are on hosting or whatever for your client, it's there. And then Carlos didn't really go into all this, but you can also, as you saw, those are just regular pages inside of your uh, high level page builder. So now you can go modify those, add more pages, remove some of those pages, whatever, you know, put your other logo on there or whatever you want to do on those. Yeah, that was a good question. All right. Um, Maida, do you want to show us what you've been working on? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm going to share complete screen. <laughs> I just saw what V put in here, Biang put in the chat there about the six minute abs. Yeah, it's the same thing with one click website, the six minute abs. We, it's made by the same people, if that's what you're asking. And and Carlos, if you don't mind throwing a demo link in there in the chat when you have a chance. And I, I'll let you go. Sorry, Maida. No, it's okay. You can see my complete screen, right? I don't yes, ma'am. Okay, this is only a reminder. And well, I'm going to talk about, first of all, this is for IDX broker and IDX salons. But first, I wanted to let you know, or this is a reminder that we have this uh, page that it's called the change log. And we are trying to keep this updated uh, with the latest features that we are developing or some improvements. So you can go to this page and see what we have been working on. And let's go to the presentation. I want to talk about some of these new features that we have. Uh, the first of them is an update to the agent information widget. This is meant for single uh, agent accounts. And the idea is that you can embed a, a video in the, in the IDX details pages. I'm going to show you an example here. Uh, this is an IDX broker details page, and this is the agent image. Well, their, their profile picture. So I'm going to go here. This is the agent information widget. And here you can embed a video. I'm adding here an example. Oopsies. You need to have this turn it on, add the video, the URL with an MP4 extension, and go down and save the, the settings. And when you reload the page, it's going to show, I mean, it's the, the agent uh, profile picture, but if you click on this, uh, on the icon, it's going to display a video. And here you can maybe embed some content about uh, your experience as a realtor or something else that it's, it's going to be like more appealing for the, for the leads. So this is related to the agent information widget. The next one is for the lead connector dashboard. Um, we added an option here in the dashboard. I'm going to show you here where you can enable or disable the notes submission to the contact notes. So um, 
You can find this in the main or in the admin GHL dashboard. And here you are going to see this card where you can manage uh, this uh, option. The contact notes are the ones that are added here in the notes section. So in case like uh, that you don't want to see them anymore, or if like this is like very overwhelming, you can disable them here. And whenever the leads are uh, browsing in your IDX details pages, um, they won't appear anymore here. And finally, we have added uh, new custom fields. These are related to, so you can see them better, um, last saved searches and the last saved property. And these are going to be updated when your leads are browsing also in your IDX pages. Um, to do this, you would need to go um, to this page. And here there's going to appear a button that says update in case you don't have them. But uh, when you click on this button, we are going to create these custom fields in your high level sub account. So you can start using them for workflows or something like that. For example, here we have the last saved property street, the price, etc. So with this, uh, you can trigger some workflows maybe. Mm -hmm. And that these are the update the updates that we have for IDX broker and IDX errands. Okay. Very good. So Jeff's asking if if he can get a copy to your PowerPoint. Maida. Ah, uh, sure. Thank you. Yeah, good. Um, we we we're working on <clears throat> we're adding some more custom fields into uh, high level, and we're we think that we we've, we've done meetings with a bunch of people who are asking for more of these fields because then they can build out more powerful automations. So we've. There, there may be a point of diminishing returns on the, all these fields, right? Where it's like, okay, wait a minute. You guys now have given me 700, you know, fields. I think I'm about all fielded out on this thing. But we we thought we had pretty good numbers of fields, but we had a lot of people ask for more. And, and I can see now as we start building out some of these automations and stuff where seeing when a when a client saves a property and we get the the last city the last saves property city for example say i'm jeff auerbach and i see oh this this person saved a property in marana arizona um yeah i can now trigger an, an email out to them or a text message or something that says hey uh, here's some new homes in in Marana, or you know, we we've been working on a new project in Marana. I thought you might you know find interesting or whatever. Send them a link to some pages or something. Um, zip code, price ranges. So you you start getting some some power to build out some customizations. So we're pretty excited about that. We're going to be adding. A, we have a few more that we want to get added in there. That's pretty much what we have. Um, I'd love to. Open up to any questions anybody has. That was a great, um, that's great what you just said about um, looking for a house in Marana, for example, because um, we can create content specifically for those areas. And that really helps because, you know, I mean, Tucson's a really small place, but there's areas where we know people of a certain demographic, you know, 55 and older tend to live in Marana because that's where a lot of the active adult communities are. So we focus on those in that area. It makes it great. I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's awesome. So thank you. Yeah. And you know, what's interesting about that, Jeff, just when you said that is what might be kind of cool is if you already have like a saved link, like adult communities in Marana. And so if, if, if the trigger says that the last saved property I had was in Marana, now you know you're going to shoot that. I mean, you've already got the email made, the save link made, and the whole yeah. enchilada for Marana. And you, they're now in your Marana file. Right. We can send them an email. And in the email, it has a survey. And, you know, because we don't know, maybe they're not looking for active adult. They're looking for, you know, a, a community with playground 
or you know or a community near i-10 it's we can ask all those questions and then really 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 niche down on their content and that's so powerful yeah that's great thank you I just had some uh, some some commentary here. So I watched the replay from the last uh, webinar, and and what Jeff you had said there just it, it it helped me. And then I talked to like our uh, owner of of our brokerage, and at the end of the day, I kind of I see the value in the custom fields because I'd love to automate and just make this big beautiful machine. But I also like to make sales. I really <laughs> like to make sales, right? So so what you had said is, hey, you know, get get the agent, take them out of the tech role as much as possible. And kind of my audience is is the, the the team leads, the owners, right? That they know that their biggest pain point is they're paying for leads and their sales process. It's never going to be perfect because you have the human element. But what you had said about speed to lead, and I mean, I can coach the, the, the sales process, but I, I guess for me... I have like use cases in mind, which really forces that appointment, right? And that's 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 the business at the end of the day. That's what drives the result. And I would love to build it out later, but I, you know, I'm I'm looking at just doing Zillow basically. I'm just reverse engineering what Zillow does with their call connect. If you use the IVR triggers and and everything like that, you can just get those conversations going in real time, right? So I'm I'm working on like the round robin and everything like that, but it's just such a beautiful beautiful web design, right? This is built for conversions. This isn't built to be a, a big, the branding is important. Absolutely. Like you said, you know, that that's the name of the game and that's kind of the buzzword, but it is the truth is personal brand. So I love that you guys are focusing on a clean onboarding process uh, because that's, that's where the bottlenecks and the, the pain points come later, even for the agency owners. And uh, I, I mean, I love, I love the possibility of all these different automations and triggers, but if you've been in agency land, you know, complexity starts to bring a lot of, a lot of help desk. And, uh, I, I'd like to just be more towards the SAS side of everything. And, um, yeah, I mean, just simplifying is where I'm at right now. And I just, I just want to kind of get out there and start selling. So, uh, with, with the team side, it's just lead routing, which high level does really well. It's a little clunky on the calendars and some other stuff for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I love what you guys are doing. Thank you, Vian. What you mentioned the onboarding and the bottlenecks with that. We're we're trying to set something up, but um one of the suggestions we had was just bring the IDX broker sign up form inside of high level. And I I to me that seemed like too simple, but somebody just said, just give us a custom link, we'll just stick it in there. And then is that would that be helpful? We, or what what do we need to do to smooth that out just a little bit? I mean, you guys are doing it. That's that's a five dollar an hour task, and it, as long as you've got that dashboard and they're approving it, and and you guys are at the mercy of what we've all been at mercy of, which is really lazy big software companies with IDXs and MLS. <laughs> just kind of, they don't really have to try that hard. Uh, you know, we're we're trying to build over here, and we're just kind of dealing with their crap and their their uh, their speed to market. So. Um, yeah, I mean, you're doing it right. Like how much easier can it get? Like, okay, yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta open another tab, right? I gotta click my bookmark bar to, to onboard a client. I mean, you, the flow there is just perfect. And, uh, I mean, Omni, I'm not sure what the deal is that I haven't investigated that, but that was fast for me, right? That was the fastest I've had it where luckily my broker signs papers quick, but you know, we were good to go on that side with the feed pretty quick. So, okay. um, I see why 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 IHF and IDX broker have have kind of the pros and cons at the moment, but I like IHF a lot. I like it a lot. Um, again, I'm I'm just focused on conversions and sales, just like any of our customers are at the end of the day. So, the the fancy stuff, I love it. You, you, if you've seen my snapshot, you know I like I like messing around. But it's uh, at the end of the day, I just want to get conversations going. That speed to lead, like Jeff said, and. Um, yeah, Zillow's they've they've really been a data data modeled company, and I'm on a flex team, so I kind of see how they they they're very much like Amazon. If you ever work at like an Amazon, it's just you know hits your KPIs per hour. So so the reporting stuff later for the teams that becomes important for me uh, because you got to hold people accountable, your agents, your salespeople. Uh, but that's that's all stuff we can customize. That's the beauty of it. If if you if you have the willingness to learn and you see the see the value in it, you can build it in high level. That's why this is such a game changer. That's awesome. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna work on what we can to get this done. I actually have a meeting with iHome Finders uh, 
some leadership there as soon as this is in about 30 minutes. And so we're hoping we're twisting some arms to see if we can get that that bottleneck on the onboarding just removed. But it's it's tricky. And the MLSs are part of the problem too in some cases. So we'll we'll do what we can. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Vihang. Any anything else anybody would like to share? Any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback? So I, I think I so so one of the struggles that I have is getting, and you can use like Zapier and stuff, but getting like a Zillow or any other lead source into high level. There's they don't really have an email parser. I think I I Home Finder has that at one of their more advanced offerings as part. So I think they kind of have a CRM component, if I'm not mistaken. They do. Um, so I guess I'm just kind of putting it out into the ether that that's, that's something that would be pretty amazing if there was a way to have that email parser work. Um, because it seems to work with, with like, you know, the, the main, uh, you know, the follow-up boss and any, you know, KV Core, some of the other competitors out there. Um, you just give them a, a link and then you can shoot in the uh, the leads, but I um, and uh, I guess we'll make it, Mike. So I'll I'll tell you what we we have the most talented developers yeah. I think in the real estate space. I mean these these guys that's all they do all day. They're good at it. They understand these APIs. So if you if you want, shoot me a, an example of an email you get over to support at realtycandy.com and just uh, you know tell us hey here's what a Z Zillow email looks like. And uh, we'll we'll build that. Okay. And we can make it so it works for for the IDX broker version and for the iHome Finder version. That'd be great. Yeah, because I, I think the fewer, basically the fewer components that I can, like I love having the IDX piece, and then you know, but I for some reason I don't want to have Zapier involved because it's just one more thing that costs money and it's like another point of failure and failing. Yep. Yeah. That'd be great. All right. And and we we think that I mean, what our goal is, is to build out a bunch of these apps. And a lot of them are the apps that we've built eliminate Zapier, right? And so you can probably a lot of the stuff that we're doing with high level and all this stuff, if you sat down and, you know, crack the code on Zapier, you could probably just build a Zap that does almost everything we do on this high level thing. But some of it, our guys are going in and I, I know... Uh, Vadim's not on the meeting today, but he he's working on some stuff with iHome Finder where we're pulling this data, we're loading it into our database, we're processing it, and then we're putting it over into high level. So we're doing a little bit more than you can get out of a zap. But a lot of it, like you say, I think those zaps just they there's just more points of articulation that that's not necessarily a benefit. Yeah. Good, good comment. Yeah, shoot, shoot us one. We we'll build it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of this stuff. We we uh, we we want to make it so that it's a, you guys have like a turnkey solution, right? And it, and you can bring leads in. I mean, agents are doing business with Zillow. We need to figure that in as part of our uh, you know part of our equation, basically, on this. Good. Hey, we've got some webhook people here behind, so don't don't even mess around. I mean, like uh, Maida, Carlos, and Vadim, these guys, they they were doing webhooks before they their parents let them ride a bike. They said, hey, go make a webhook, and then I'll let you ride your bike around the block. So they they, they don't even mess around. Any any other comments, questions, suggestions? <laughs> Okay, we we really appreciate you guys joining us today. We're trying to get some new stuff out, smooth out some of the stuff we've already made. And next week, what we're going to talk about is the agency dashboard and how you can use that as a as a real estate marketing agency to really track what your clients are doing and 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 set up some of these tools for them, the one click websites, see how their IDX is. And uh, we're working on some new stuff that we want to show you guys next week, if that's okay. Probably same time, same channel.